this video we'll be fixing a ceiling fan light that flickers like this one okay the first step is to make sure you have cut the power and you can do that either from the breaker or from the switch and I've just tested it using um, my non-contact voltage, voltage tester which I can't find at the moment but after you verify that there's no power coming in um, go ahead and pull off the light bulbs so you don't break them and then undo the screws that hold the light housing in so that's what we'll do right now Aside from the screw, it looks like there's this little nut here that needs to be tied undone as well. So we do that nut right here. So I've kind of already got it going. And I should lower the assembly. We should be able to take a look at what's inside. Now that's completely out, um, we see that there's a ballast here and it's essentially limiting the current that the light can get. And so the, well, we have current coming in here, going through the ballast, being limited and going into the light. So I think what's going on is something inside this electronic ballast. So. What we'll do is, we'll go ahead and cut this out. So first we'll cut this black wire here and the white wire here. And we're just gonna go ahead and uh, snip these wires right here and remove this ballast and see what's going on with that. So, in order to do that, you just get your wire cutters and go ahead and just cut all four of these wires. So we'll make a cut here. I'll make another cut right here. Cut the side that goes to the light. And we'll cut the white wire as well. Okay, so all the wires have been cut. Now you see the ballast is being held in by this screw right here, which is on the other side. So we just need to undo that. As you can probably tell, I've done a ballast removal on the other side already. Uh, that's why the lights were different. Um, but I'll show how to do this one. So we just put the screwdriver on the underside. Maybe press down on the screw with your finger. Should loosen it up. There we go. So there's the ballast removed. So with the ballast removed, I went ahead and stripped the ends off the black wires and the white wires. I went ahead and combined the two white wires with the wire nut. And when I went to combine the black wire, um, I found that it was a bit short, so I added this little blue jumper wire. So all we have to do is 
connect these up like this and add the wire nut. All the wire nuts nice and tight that's what the final wiring should look like so essentially i removed the ballast and i bypassed the ballast by hooking the white one with the white going to the light and then i went from black to black but i did have to add this little blue jumper to it because the wiring wires were too short so now we'll just seal everything back up and install the light with all the wiring complete we'll just put everything back together So once the ballast has been bypassed, we have to use a special LED light. Um, you can't go back to the original one um, because um, the current is no longer being limited. So you have to use this LED light. I was able to pick this one up from uh, Home Depot. So now we'll just push the lights back in and uh, see how it works. So after bypassing the ballast, the lights turn on without flickering. 